If you look around, you will see an infinite number of structures all over the world. But before we get to this point where we have the technological advantage in making these complicated structures that are designed to be safe from winds and earthquakes, there was a time where there were no modern tools, materials or computers. Let's start with a time where there was no concrete reinforcement or steel. So what do you think humans used to build shelters with? Well, early humans started living in caves or rock shelters to be safe from the elements or wild animals. As time passed and humans reached the Stone Age, the first built structures were probably pit houses, huts or tents. These dwellings were built by the inhabitants rather than by specialized builders, using locally available methods, tools and materials. The materials used were large animal bones and skins, wood, bamboos or stones. During the Neolithic era or the New Stone Age, Humans started to shift from hunting and gathering to agriculture and farming and forming various settlements. During this period, more advanced structures were followed with the building of long wood houses and dry stone structures. Some of the current monumental structures from this era are dolmens and hinges. While the construction of dry stone structures may look simple, it can be complicated since maintaining stability is a challenge. During the ancient history, which includes the Bronze and Iron Ages as well, many of the famous historical structures that we have today were built. The Great Pyramid of Giza, with an original height of 146.6 meters or 481 feet, was the tallest structure in the world at that time and remained the tallest structure for more than 3,000 years. Construction of arch stone bridges became popular during this era. Pont du Gard in France is a famous arch bridge that was built about 2,000 years ago. During this period, cement-like materials were made using bitumen, gypsum or lime and since then we have gradually advanced to the current modern types of cement that exist today. During the post-classical history or Middle Ages, the construction of castles became popular in Europe. Castles are fortified structures that were common in that era to protect the residents from military invasions and also acted as a symbol of power. Many cathedrals were also built in this period. Notre Dame in Paris was completed by 1345. The arched roof in this structure is supported by a series of flying buttresses without the need for thick continuous support walls. With the increase in maritime activity, modern lighthouses became common during the 18th century. These relatively tall structures are sometimes built in the water and are often exposed to very harsh winds and high sea waves. The first iron reinforced concrete structure was built in 1850s which was a multi-story building in the suburbs of Paris. The advancements in this field grew until the tallest building made with the reinforced concrete was built in 1903. The Ingalls building is a 16-story structure in Cincinnati, Ohio. While iron was discovered thousands of years ago, the use of iron in the construction industry was limited until the 19th century. The first major bridge made with cast iron is the Iron Bridge in England which was opened in 1781. However, the structural use of iron became more common around the 1850s. The Eiffel Tower made with wrought iron was built in 1889 and was the tallest structure until 1930, which is when the Chrysler Building was built in New York. Interestingly, the Eiffel Tower height increased in 1957 due to the addition of a broadcasting antenna, so it became taller than the Chrysler Building by a few meters. The use of steel in the construction industry grew significantly in the years after. A good example is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco with a total length of 2.73 km or 8,980 feet that was built in 1937. One other type of structure that became common during the 1900s was the electricity transmission tower. 
These towers were needed to transport power from the generating stations to the electrical substations. These towers are usually made with steel or aluminum and come in a wide variety of shapes and heights. Modern day structures include some of the tallest buildings and longest bridges ever built in history. The current tallest building is Burj Khalifa in Dubai with a total height of 829.8 meters or 2722 feet. The tallest twin buildings in the world are the Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And the tallest tower which is not for living or office work and is not supported by wires is the Tokyo Japan Sky Tree Tower. After thousands of years of progress, humans have reached a point that we are capable of creating very elegant structures that are not only user friendly but are also safe against the forces of nature. Well, this is all I have for this video and I hope you liked it. Until the next time, goodbye.